Hello student, today we are going to discuss about the OLAP, OLAP tools. The OLAP stand for Online Analytical Processing Server. It is based on the multidimensional data model. It allows the manager and analyst to get an insight of the information through the fast, consistent and interactive access to information. The, actually, OLAP is a server which uh, OLAP is a server which lies in between the data warehouse and the users and or clients and it uh, provides the facility to user run uh, their OLAP, uh, data mining tools, reporting tool and analytical tools over the data warehouse. Basically the data OLAP server are of four types. Relational OLAP, multi-dimensional OLAP, hybrid OLAP and a specialized SQL server. A relational OLAP or OLAP server are placed between the relational backup server and the client front-end tools. These are used between the normal relation RDBMS based operational system and client front-end tools. To store and manage data warehouse, Rolap use relational and extended Dead relational DBMS. Rollup include the following implementation of the aggregation navigation logic, optimization for each DBMS backend, and additional tool and services. Uh, uh, Rollup tools are used to perform the, uh, the operations like join, aggregations, and operation and different SQL queries an aggregation and generalization concepts over the relational database over the relation that lies on the back end it also remove the redundancy existing in the database while merging different tools like analytical tool reporting tool and and uh, analytical tool and reporting tools are used uh, by that are used by the client are executed on through these rollups servers and uh, rollup servers but the problem is that they can only work over the table schemas this provide one facility that the uh, that they can they provide the scalability it means suppose there are n number of variables a1 a2 a3 a4 an then it would deal uh, apply uh, it would deal or apply join operation on two uh, two uh, variable at a time and it will perform the joining of all the n variables by in combination of two like a1 cross a2 then the resultant would be multiplied with the a3 then the resultant would be multiplied with the a4 in this way we can perform or handle and dimensions variable also with help of rollup but this comes at the uh, cost of the time in this way dealing with the n dimensional variable become very difficult with the relational database but it provides the scalability but because it is easy to expand up to any extent but uh, m limit but uh, the, with increasing number of variables the consumption of times increases and that's why it's become inefficient to use just Rolap to handle multidimensional data. So the time that are used by the Rolap is very much high and in scenario of the data warehouse where multidimensional data are used, the Rolap are not sufficient to handle the multidimensional data. But they provide the scalability and the next one to solve the problem to handle the multi-dimensional data is the multi-dimensional OLAP. In MOLAP server, MOLAP uses array-based multi-dimensional storage engine for multi-dimensional view of data. With multi-dimensional data store, the storage utilization may be low if the data set is sparse. Therefore, many MOLAP server uses two level of data storage representation to handle dense and sparse data set. MOLAPs are basically multi-dimensional data storage engine, which are especially designed to handle the multi-dimensional data. They execute over Snowflake schema, 
or fact considerations and star schema which are used for handling the multidimensional data and it can work very efficiently over data cubes also it uh, it's uh, SP, uh, response time is very less in comparison to rollup but the problem is that it is slightly costlier in comparison to the rollup so they can provide the fast response but they uh, they provide limited scalability uh, the scalability is the problem with the multidimensional data because it is not easy to expand the further variable into already defined molar uh, multidimensional data and molar servers so it has the feature of uh, it is time effective but it is computation cost is higher in comparison to rollup and the scalability is not that much possible like in case of rollup to find out the min path in between these two the to use the advantage of the both rollup and molap and uh, remove their deficiency a new category of olap was designed that's called the hybrid olap hybrid olap is a combination of both rollup and molap it offer higher scalability of rollup and faster computation of molap olap servers allow to store the large data volume of detailed information the aggregation are stored separately in molap stores uh, it allows simp uh, the single dimensional data etc are handled with rollap but the, their aggregate or multi dimensional data are handled using molap in olap tools in this way it provides scalability like rollap and fast computation like molap the depending upon the data it uses the combination of these tools so uh, the hybrid olap is the combination of rollap olap with advantage advantage of rollap in uh, as a scalability and high faster computation time of molap the last category is the specialized sql server specialized sql server provide advanced query language and query processing support for sql queries for star and snowflake schema in read only environment uh, the specialized sql queries are the schemas which can apply the sql queries on the star and snowflake schemas we, uh, these are the schemas uh, these are the schemas which are uh, not designed to handle with the normal sql query but in a specialized sql server we can apply the sql queries over the star and snowflake schema in read only environment so sql queries which were designed to be applied on the simple table it can be applied over the star and snowflake schemas uh, the olaps op operations since olap servers are based on multi dimension are based on multi dimensional view of data um, it can handle following types of operations like roll up drill down slice and dice and pivot in rollup operation for example in the rollup operation perform the aggregation on the data cube in any of the following ways first by climbing up the concept hierarchy for a dimension and second by dimension reduction in uh, for example in this diagram here basically what we do we move up uh, upward to in the concept hierarchy or we can say we eliminate the dimension it's a kind of generalization in generalization the dimensions are reduced like in the given example here there are four cities chicago new york toronto vancouver among these two cities are from usa chicago and new york and two are from canada in the roll up operations we can see that the countries which uh, are at lower level in hierarchy in comparison to the country usa have been merged together and toronto and vancouver 
which are part of Canada and lies below in concept hierarchy below the country Canada are merged together and dimension has reduced from the four to two. The cities have been reduced into two dimensions, four cities of two countries have reduced in two dimension four to two. This is called the roll up operation where dimension is reduced and we move upward in the concept hierarchy. This is called the roll up operation. Next comes the drill down operation. Drill down is just opposite of the roll up operation. Drill down is the reverse operation of the roll up. It is, um, it is moving down in the concept hierarchy and by introducing no new dimension or by increasing new dimension or we can say that the it is a specialization and in it the dimension are increased like in the same example if we do the reverse process like in uh, time quadrant time we can see that there are four quadrants q1 q2 q3 q4 one quadrant stand for the three months so instead of writing the quarter one Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, we have specialized and discretized all these as January, February, March and like 12 months and we have divided the quarter one that was 400 into four partitions 150, 100 and 150 equals to 400. So here the dimensions have increased from 4 to 12 and uh, we have moved downward in the concept hierarchy and dimension has increased. This is called the drill down operation. Next one is the slice. The slice operation select one particular dimension from a given cube and provide a new subspace. Uh, the slice simply we cut out a piece of the uh, multidimensional data and that's called the slice. For example, for the same one, here we uh, here the dimension that of uh, quarter has been eliminated here and we just took a piece of it and instead of three there are two dimensional uh, space subspace and here we can see this is called the slice so slice for time q1 we are just taking the quarter one results of the four country and the sale of the mobile modem phone security items the dice is a kind of it a dice select two or more dimension from a given cube by selecting two or more than two dimensions from a given cube and provide a new sub cube in the last one we got a subspace and here we got what a get a cube so in the similar example uh, of the mobile modem phone security item sale, sale uh, he, we took just selected the location Toronto and Vancouver and we just selected two quarter two, quarter one and quarter two and item as mobile or modem. So then we get a cube out of the larger cube, smaller cube out of larger cube. This is called the dice the pivot operation is also another of next operation the pivot operation is also known as rotation it rotate the data axis in view in order to provide an alternative presentation of data in it we see a same data through different dimension like in the given diagram the here there are two dimension mobile modern phone security item and the cities but we have rotated the cube and now we can see that the uh, the axis have been rotated the earlier the countries were on the y axis now they are have moved to the x axis and the phone security item types was on the x axis has shifted to the y axis so through pivot element we can rotate a certain thing and so that we can rotate dimensions so that's about all about the that's all about the polar thank you